Temperature rise is an important indicator in transformer design. What is the temperature rise? Briefly speaking, it is the temperature difference between the transformer and the surrounding air during normal operation. Both oil immerse and dry type transformers generate heat due to the iron and copper losses, which are converted into thermal energy and dissipated outward, causing the transformer to continuously heat up and increase in temperature. After the temperature difference reaches a certain limit, the heat generation and heat dissipation of the transformer will maintain a balance. At this time, the temperature difference between the transformer and the surrounding environment is called temperature rise. Why do we need to control temperature rise when designing transformers? In terms of transformer life, temperature is the main cause of insulation aging. Due to an even heat distribution inside the transformer, there is a large temperature difference between different parts of the transformer. Therefore, it is necessary to make regulations on the temperature rise of each part. When the transformer is under rated load, this is the allowable temperature rise of the transformer. Generally, oil immersed transformers use class A insulation with a maximum allowable temperature of 105 Celsius. For example, on a standard of 40 Celsius in the summer, the allowable temperature rise of the winding is 65 Celsius. Since the temperature of the transformer is generally 10 Celsius lower than that of the winding, the allowable temperature rise of the transformer is 55 Celsius. This ensures that the transformer can operate safely within the designated service life. As long as the temperature rise does not exceed the allowable value. This is why we need to control temperature rise in transformers.